Hello everyone, my name is Cliff. I work for Trailer Hitch RV in Napomo, California. Today we're at beautiful Pismo Coast Village RV Resort. A uh, nice place to come and bring your family. Um, we're gonna show you how to maneuver your RV into a campsite, uh, fix a couple of uh, mistakes when you're backing up, and then go over a couple of uh, safety tips. Now we're here at our campsite. We're gonna get out of our vehicle and we're gonna check our campsite for any obstructions at our trees or camp picnic tables in the area and get it all cleared away. So when we start to back our trailer in, we'll have a clean slate go right down there. Hey guys, a uh, couple of tips on backing up that we forgot to mention on our um, video. When your hands are on the steering wheel and you're backing up, um, tip is that you put your hand on the bottom and if you want that trailer to go to your left, you would turn your wheel to the left. If you want it to go right, you go to the right and that trailer will go to the right. Uh, but if you have your hands on top, it's the opposite. So everybody gets confused and they start doing all that movement and stuff and real fast. Just calm down, down that bottom, just kind of recorrect. If you have a single axle trailer, you're gonna be playing with that steering wheel more back and forth because that trailer is small. The bigger the trailer, the less movement of your steering turn-wise you're going to be making into your RV spot. The last thing is go slow. Everything slow. Got kids running around, they're excited, they're playing, so you got to keep an eye on all your surroundings. All right guys, now we're in our next segment. We're going to back our trailer into our campsite and our driver Sergio, he's up here, so he's going to demonstrate and I'm going to walk you guys through it, okay? So we've already came over here and checked to make sure things all cleared, ready to back in and no one's around. So, okay. Right now he's backing up real slow. Slow and easy, okay. He's already got a spot that he wants to back on this trailer. So he sees me, I see him. So if you can't see your driver, he can't see you. So, come back, come back. Okay, Sergio, that's good. So now we're gonna adjust the backup. So now that we're at an angle, we're gonna go forward just a little bit. That way you'll have a straight shot back in, okay? Some of these campsites, you're gonna be doing it three or four times, okay? So just go slow, patience, okay? Um, your turns are gonna be not very sharp. You're just gonna go zigzag right back in to your campsite. A lot of people make a mistake where they have to really turn that wheel all the way. Now you're doing it too sharp. Now you're overcorrecting, but you don't really need to overcorrect. Okay. Okay. Go forward just a little bit. Kind of straighten out. Okay. Turn your wheel back up. You're good. See, he sees me in the mirror. I see him. It's all clear back here. You're doing good, doing good. Straight back. Straight back, straight back. Nice and slow. Now we have a slide out on this uh, rig right here and I'm gonna explain a little bit about that as well. Okay, we're good. We now backed up successfully. Now we're ready to drop our trailer and start leveling it and get it all squared away. All right, guys, as you can see, Sergio backed up the trailer and he's over on the far right side of the RV campsite, which is too close to the fire pit and to the picnic table, which means that when this happened, he probably didn't see me over there guiding him. So he had no way to look except for on this side here. And by that time, it's too late. So now we're gonna to have to correct this. He's gonna turn his wheel to the left and go forward. And then he'll see more clarity on both sides of his trailer where he needs to go. And then he's gonna back it over to that side to the post. Okay? So we get him going right now. Okay, Sergio, go ahead, go forward. Now he sees me and I see him. Now, straight back here. Perfect. Perfect. 
Now you're gonna crank it in. There you go. All right, we're good. So now we cleared this. So we're gonna see if our slide out works. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna have him park his truck. Okay, I'm gonna pull the slide out and we're gonna test it while it's still hooked up to our trailer. This is a mistake that a lot of people do. They back in, they forget how wide this pulls out. So two people, one out here, one inside, push the button and then other one says stop. So as you can see, our slide out did not make it all the way out because of our concrete pillar. Uh, a lot of mistakes that people do, they don't really consider the slide out how far it goes out. There's a lot of things that kick into place. So take your time, go slow, and just pay attention to what's going on. It's always good to have two people when you're backing up your trailer. I kindly like to thank Pismo Coast Village RV Resort for letting us use this spot. Beautiful area right next to the beach. Birds everywhere, people are real friendly here. Uh, just come and enjoy. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, here at Trailer Hitch RV, we are a full service RV. Uh, our techs are top notch. They will keep your RV in top shape so you can enjoy your experiences out there RVing. Thank you for joining us.